dear food pilgrims, as much as I've enjoyed the recent Pete's Pan's oyster and mussel orgy in Port-le-Cat and the fish soup from Collioure, it's definitely time to head inland, from the Mediterranean to the world-famous medieval fortified town of Carcassonne. The route takes you across the wonderful wine country known as Les Corbières, the Appellation in the Languedoc area that turns out vast quantities of mostly red wine, amounting to 75 million bottles a year, so I shouldn't be going thirsty anytime soon. Now one of the most celebrated dishes all around these parts is the cassoulet, which is an ancient, rich, slow-cooked casserole containing various bits of pork and duck, and crucially local white beans. And it's named after its traditional cooking vessel, the cassole, a deep, round, terribly heavy earthenware pot with these slanting sides. However, first I still have 100 kilometers of this splendid area to cross through vines, scrub and shrub, this is the département of Lode in the region of Occitanie, and it's also known as Qatar country after the religious dissidents active in the 12th century. My route takes me through the lovely town of La Grasse, officially recognized as one of the most beautiful villages of France. For lunch, duck gizzard salad followed by the confit de canard, duck legs slowly cooked in their own fat, both so typical around the southwest, and onwards to Carcassonne. This 100-year-old map of French gastronomy has the cassoulet written all over these parts, as you'd expect. Carcassonne dates from the 6th century, was rebuilt and expanded in the 13th, and has remained miraculously preserved ever since. If I've ever felt like I'm walking into a fairy tale, it's right now. It's not just medieval ramparts up here, but a whole town enclosed within the ancient walls. A bit later on, Pete Span's groupies show up from Spain, and we head to the main square of Carcassonne to gather ingredients. The cassoulet is one of those dishes that predates potatoes, so it's based on white beans, and folk around here are extremely picky about the right varieties. Back home I start cooking up a nice duck stock, chicken stock's also perfectly authentic. Just let it simmer away for two hours or so. So for an authentic, traditional cassoulet from Carcassonne, here are all the ingredients. We have the sausage, the local Toulouse variety, or any large pork sausage will do fine. Here's the quen, this is the pork rind, so, so valued in French cookery. We have half a pig's trotter. Here's the échine de porc. In English, this is chine or neck, or sometimes referred to as collar, but any slightly fatty cut will do the job perfectly. And here's the confit duck legs, the confit de canard. Some duck fat, garlic, onion, tomato, and a very generous bouquet garni. Tomato concentrate, salt and pepper, as well as a few cloves. These beans, the local Castelnaudary variety, have been soaking overnight. The stock we made earlier, and this delicious Carcassonne red, goes in the cook, not in the cassoulet. So now the beans are going to be cooked in the flavorful stock, to which we add a carrot, a whole onion studded with five or so cloves, the bouquet garni, the chopped garlic,
the pork rind, the pig's trotter, and vitally a good dollop of duck fat. Now let all this simmer away for an hour and a half, giving one time to sit back and admire the ancient ramparts from below. When the beans are almost done, lightly brown the pieces of pork and sausage. This is done not surprisingly in another good dollop of duck fat, a task I've entrusted to my daughter Jessica, who's quickly rewarded with local refreshments. In the same fat, a sliced onion is fried, and when soft, a few cloves of garlic are added. Followed in a minute or two by a small dollop of tomato concentrate, and the grated or finely chopped pulp of a whole tomato. Now this lot seem to have lost interest already. Back inside, all foreign objects are removed from the beans, though the delicious guan, the the pork rind is reserved and cut into little squares like this. Now we mix all the remaining ingredients, onion, tomato, chunks of pork, the quan, and lastly, towards the top go the sausage, making sure there's enough liquid to just come to the top of the beans. So in a fairly low oven, about 150 degrees centigrade, the cassoulet is cooked gently for around two and a half hours. Each time a crust forms on the top, it should be gently pressed back down and submerged into the mixture. This operation is done typically three or four times, and if at any stage the cassoulet seems to be drying out too much, add a little more stock or water. The end result should not be dry, but somewhat, somewhat saucy, like beans in a very thick sauce, yet not at all watery. So with just 15 minutes remaining, in go the pieces of confit. Other way around, love. Yes, skin side up. And there we have the one true cassoulet de Carcassonne. I'm off to seek out many, many more local, traditional dishes from the Languedoc region of southwestern France and beyond. So allez, bon appétit et large soif. <laughs>